How are you currently managing the effectiveness of your marketing? Is your marketing more scattergun or sniper? Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your marketing to get the most from your money. So what strategies are you currently running as part of your marketing? I urge you to get a piece of paper, grab a pen, and just write a list of all of the lead gen strategies you're currently running in your business. Now, I suspect there's probably more than you think. For example, if you're networking, perhaps you want to differentiate between perhaps different networking groups that you go to. Maybe there's LinkedIn, LinkedIn advertising, social media in general, placing an ad in a magazine, getting referrals from your clients. Um, running events is also a great lead gen strategy. So just list out all of the strategies that you're currently running in your business so you can actually see it on one piece of paper the effectiveness and we'll start to trust and measure what's working really well over the next couple of stages. So what is each lead gen strategy actually costing you to run? In the next column, I want you to think about how much are you actually investing in that strategy every month? So if it's LinkedIn advertising, perhaps you're spending £200 on LinkedIn ads. If you're networking, perhaps that's £50 a month, £300 a month. Running events may be a bit more of an expensive strategy. So think around how much is actually in financial terms each strategy costing you to run in a month. Now, I also want you to consider how much time you're investing in those strategies too, because your time has a value. It might just not be your time, it might be someone in your team that's running that strategy for you. So networking, for example, may be a fairly relatively cheap strategy to run, but it is a big drain on your time. It's a big time investment. So perhaps you have less money in that column, but more in the time. What we're looking to achieve is have your list of strategies, have what they're financially costing you, but then also how much time are you having to invest in that strategy to run. So next we want to look at actually how many leads are you getting from each of the strategies you're currently running. Now, you may already be measuring this thing. We call it test and measure. Test and measure, you can't manage what you're not measuring. So I challenge you perhaps over the next week or month, Actually track where your leads are coming from and which lead source is working really effectively for you. And you might actually be surprised. There's a saying that 50% of my marketing works, I just don't know which 50% it is. So I challenge you to actually log where each of your lead is coming from over the next week or month so we can actually start to see what's working well for you. From here, we're gonna look at how the return on investment for each strategy is performing. So you've got your list of lead strategies, you've got how much it's costing you in time as well as money. And over the last week or month, you've been testing where your leads are currently coming from. Perhaps you've got a little five bar gate, so you've been keeping it in a CRM. So now we can really see which of your lead strategies are, are outperforming each other. Now these strategies may change each week and month, I completely understand that, but are there any strategies there that you're running that might be costing you a fair amount of money and time, but actually you're not generating any leads at all? Perhaps there's some strategies that you've been running that you didn't think were being very effective, but actually you've been getting a fair amount of leads from those. Once you've worked out how much it's costing you to run and how many leads or clients you've then signed as a result of that, you'll now be able to see what the return on the investment will be from that strategy. So perhaps you've been running some LinkedIn ads, you've generated some leads and you've signed two clients. Divide that cost of how much it's cost you to run that strategy versus the uh, investment that a client spends with you each month. And now you've got your great return on investment. So you'll start to see uh, what's working well, what isn't working so well. I urge you to perhaps change what isn't working well, mix it up, see how you can improve it and make it better. And if it's still not working after three and six months, then perhaps the question is, do you need to be running that strategy at all? So I hope that video has been helpful to you in how to actually measure your marketing to get the most from your marketing return on investment. My name's Lisa Chaffee. I'm a business coach with Action Coaching Reading. If you found this video useful, then please like, comment, or share it with your friends and network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos and tips. See you soon.